Yo, what is going on everyone? I really hope everyone has a very safe and happy Halloween. Today I have a real good video for you guys. I get asked this a lot. I get asked to review the AirPods all the time and what I think they're like and I'm going to go ahead and review those today. So anyway, let's get this review started. It's the kind of beat the gold. You gotta admit though, that intro was fire, huh? If you thought it was, give it a like because it took me about 24 hours, maybe 30 to make it. Just kidding, not really. All right, let's get right in. So on the front of the box, uh, we have a picture of the AirPods and it is an embossed image here. So it has some texture to it. Uh, pretty small box. Here on the bottom, we're gonna have our serial number stuff right here, our model number. On the right, Apple logo. On the top, we're gonna have the AirPods logo. Another Apple logo right there. On the back, we're gonna have a picture of the actual holder with the two AirPods in, and it kind of demonstrates how you charge it. All right, let's go ahead and open it. So I couldn't find a knife, but the next best thing I had was this. Uh, it's kind of like a steak flipper thing that you can impale. Anyway, let's dive right in. So. Hopefully, uh, I think, yeah, there we go. All right, that should have done it. There we go. Works like a charm. All right, so opening the box here, we are going to be presented with our literature packet first, designed by Apple in California. Let's see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna have some instructions on how to use the AirPods, but that's okay. Uh, this is why I'm here, I'm gonna demonstrate that. Warranty and licensing information followed by that, and no Apple stickers this, this time, guys. Man, what a bummer. All right, coming back to the main show, we're gonna have the AirPod case. So, a lot of people made jokes about these AirPods when they first came out saying they're going to be really easy to lose. And they might be, but if you put them in this case holder at all times, you're really not going to lose them. So, alright, so let's peel that back. Very satisfying, I think. So anyways, here they are. Alright, so flipping the case open reveals the two AirPods here. And so, we're going to have different blinking lights. The white blinking light means it's ready to pair. If it's a green light, it means it's charged fully. An amber light means that it's losing charge. Or it's like halfway charged. And then a red light just means that it's out of battery. So this is a magnet here. So it has a very satisfying click. Um, and it's actually kind of hard to open because of the magnets. You actually do have to put some force. Closing it is really simple. Just give it a, a good little push and it closes. All right, on the back, we're gonna have our pairing button and I'm gonna demonstrate how we do that. It's really simple. All right, so right here, I do have my iPhone and all we have to do is bring our AirPods close and open the case and it'll start the pairing process automatically. There we go. And that's thanks to the W1 chip that's in here that we can do this so seamlessly. So all we're gonna do is hit connect and there we go. It's that simple. So it has a partial charge and like I told you guys, this amber light means that it has a partial charge so it means it's not fully charged and now they're ready to use all right my dudes now that we have the unboxing out of the way let's go into my opinions and the specs about the airpods now these hands down have to be one of my favorite apple accessories of all time if not my favorite product you know besides the iphone of all time what i really like about them is they just work they're so seamless and they work effortlessly. You don't even have to try. So these AirPods, as mentioned, do come in the little case. Now that's really important. That's how you're gonna store and carry your AirPods around. And so this has kind of like two components to it, right? Two separate batteries, if you will. The charging case has its own battery as well as the AirPods themselves have their own battery. So every time you place them into the case, they automatically charge and there's no way to turn that off. They're just gonna charge. So the case is gonna have about 24 hours of listening time. And so that's a lot. The single charge on the AirPods are gonna be up to five hours of listening time. And according to Apple's website, 15 minutes of charging the AirPods in the case equals about three hours of listening time. I mean, the battery 
everybody on these things are fantastic. I really don't see anyone really, maybe a small minority of people needing to listen to music for over five hours. So, I mean, the battery on it is, is just great. It's phenomenal. And so with 24 hours of listening time on a single 100% charge on the case, typically when I hit the gym, it's probably by the fourth or fifth day that I actually have to charge the case. So that just kind of gives you an indication of how good the battery is on the on these things. So a couple of the features on the AirPods, it's really cool. As soon as you plop them into your ear, they start working. Now, if you're already playing music and if you take off one of the AirPods, the music pauses, which I think is super duper handy. So if anyone's ever talking to you, all you have to do is remove one of the AirPods and just, you know, ask them to repeat what they said because the music just ceases. It stops. You can also use the AirPods just with a single AirPod. So you don't have to have both in. You can actually just take one and take and receive phone calls that way. Which brings me to my next point. There is also a microphone in these AirPods. If you get a call, you can simply answer on your phone or just double tap on the AirPods and you answered your phone call. About the fit. So if you've ever tried on the wired headphones that come standard with your iPhone, these fit exactly the same. So they are a one size fits all, unfortunately. So if the wired ones don't fit or if they're too tight or if they're too loose, these are gonna have almost the exact same fit as that. For me, these fit perfectly. I can literally headbang at a metal concert and these won't fall off. Ah, uh, maybe they will, but you know, I run in these. Now these aren't waterproof, but in my experience, they're definitely sweat proof. I've had them since they've been released and they still work like magic. You know, they're still working. They're still charging. It's great. Now, another cool feature about them is you can tap a single AirPod twice to get different commands. Now, albeit it's not a lot of commands and that's one of the gripes that I have with them. You can double tap for Hey Siri. You can double tap for pause. And I think that's it. I mean, there's really no real useful feature for that. I really wish that you could, I don't know, somehow have a slider on the AirPod so that that way you can just adjust the volume. But unfortunately you can't. You have to take out your phone or if you have an Apple Watch, you have to adjust the volume from there. So, so that is actually one of the negatives that I have about the AirPods. So I did make a pro and con list. Let me go ahead and start with my cons. And one of those is obviously they may not fit well. And as I mentioned, if the wired ones aren't fitting for you, neither will these. So that'd be a good indication whether these are the wireless headphones for you. Con number two is they are really, really expensive. For Bluetooth headphones, $160, that's out of the reach of a lot of individuals. Now I get it, we're in a world where we're going completely wireless. And the cool thing about these AirPods is they are 100% wireless. There's no wire connecting the two headphones themselves. So there's no wiring. You can either just put one in or put both in and you're good to go. Now, granted, the audio quality is, in my opinion, top notch. And that's going to be one of my pros. But when you compare the audio quality from the regular wide ones to these, it's a minimal upgrade. Although, like I mentioned, I love the sound on them. It's just enough for me. It's everything I ever need in some headphones. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these are probably my favorite Apple accessory slash product. So I'm gonna go down through my pro list. So pro number one, they just work. They're so seamless. And if you're really invested in the Apple ecosystem, you're gonna love these. If you wanna switch from your iPhone to your iMac, you can do it so easily. Say you're going from your iPad to your MacBook Pro, you can do it and it's so seamless. It's so easy. The transition is effortless. You know, if, you, if you're if you editing, say, on Final Cut and then all of a sudden you want to go for a little run outside, the temperature is looking great and grab your iPhone or your Apple Watch, you can. Pro number two, which may be a little controversial for most people, I love the sound. For me, as far as sound goes, these are surprisingly real good. It's really good quality in such a small package. I love the sound. It's really rich. It's lit sound. It's it's really bouncy. I don't know how they fit that good of a quality inside these AirPods, but I love them. Pro number three is the ridiculous range that these have. Now, of course, the range isn't that huge. I mean, be realistic. But I do know of some Bluetooth speakers where even if you're 10 meters away, it starts cutting off. So the range on these is really good. Pro number four, like I mentioned, is these to me are sweat proof. Now, Apple doesn't fully endorse that these are waterproof, nor should you try to verify that they're waterproof. But obviously when you're working out, you're gonna sweat on these. And after having mine for about a year or a year and a half, 
they're still holding up perfectly. I don't see any difference in audio quality, so that's another really good bonus. These are the perfect companion if you like hitting the gym. And lastly, my last pro is the battery. So the battery on it probably has to be the hallmark feature of these with an outstanding five hours per charge. What else do you want? Again, like I mentioned, if you're that small minority that always has their headphones in for extended hours, then all you have to do is just pop them back into the case for 15 minutes and boom, you, you essentially have eight hours now by putting them in your case for 15 minutes. So the battery on these is phenomenal and I don't have to charge mine, but probably weekly even. Props to Apple for putting a really good battery on these AirPods. Now, whether you should go out and pick these up is dependent on you. I'm just gonna be upfront and say, this is one of my favorite Apple products. So for me, it's a go out and get now. The Christmas season is coming. Tell your boo, tell whoever it is, tell your parents, you need these in your life. They're gonna completely change the game especially when it comes to working out. There's no wires. It's so effortless. I can't emphasize that enough. These AirPods have changed my life. That's not a joke. I carry these everywhere I go and it's so easy to just put them in my ear and start listening. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope this was a really good in-depth review of the AirPods. It's one of Apple's most popular items and for a good reason, they work. Apple honestly did a stellar job with these AirPods. Whether you're a DJ, whether you're a video editor, whether you're a gym enthusiast, these are for everyone. And that's the beauty of this product. They fit in so many categories and in so many instances, it's definitely worth a cop. At 160 bucks, it is a staggering price, but take it from me, get them, try them out. The quality is superb. And if you're gonna get these for any reason at all, it's the convenience of them and how they're gonna make your life so much simpler. All right, guys, well, there you have it. So far, I appreciate all the support. The endless amount of support and love on my channel is staggering. I am in awe, and I couldn't thank you enough. These videos I really do make out for you guys. I want my audience to be well informed when it comes to Apple product. Now, I am an Apple freak and I do love Apple. However, I'll tell you whenever a product is worth it or not in my own humble opinion. This one is a must get. So with that being said guys, go ahead and destroy that like button. Hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. Giveaways are coming soon only for subscribers. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.